Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So today we are going to resume our discussion on optoelectronics devices and systems. So far we have uh, you know uh, discussed uh, some concepts related to it. So in the next series of videos we will be focusing our discussion on light which is one of the most important components of uh, optoelectronics or optical fiber communication system which is basically the carrier of uh, the information or the data. So here we will be discussing the uh, study of light which is basically divided into two categories okay those two categories will study in detail. So we all know that uh, light is a form of electromagnetic radiation and uh, it carries a certain energy with it and it is expressed in the form of an electromagnetic wave with vibrating or oscillating electric and magnetic field which are in mutually perpendicular directions and it is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of light okay the direction of wave propagation so here uh, the study of light it is basically divided into two categories okay radiometry and photometry so before we go into radiometry and photometry let us just uh, refresh our concepts related to electromagnetic spectrum we have already discussed it but uh, here in the electromagnetic spectrum the electromagnetic waves are demarcated divided on the basis of their wavelength or frequency. So this gives us the uh, categorized uh, electromagnetic spectrum based on their wavelength range or frequency range. So here study of light is basically divided into two categories radiometry and photometry. So radiometry is the study of light in any portion of the electromagnetic spectrum in any portion okay any wavelength range any frequency range it doesn't matter so the total uh, study of light that is called as radiometry but photometry is focused on a specific wavelength range which is the visible wavelength range okay this so this wavelength range from 400 to 750 in some cases it is 380 to 770 so more or less this is the wavelength range and this is the frequency range which is the focus of photometry photometry is the measure uh, the study of the visible spectrum of light the visible light okay so photometry is a part of radiometry it is a subfield of radiometry radiometry is the broader thing the overall thing which takes into account any frequency or wavelength range the total okay gamma x-ray ultraviolet visible near infrared infrared microwaves radio waves everything combined together that is radiometry but only the visible part the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum when that is in focus that is photometry so in short radiometry takes into account all of the wavelength ranges of the electromagnetic spectrum whereas photometry is concerned only with the visible portion the visible range of the electromagnetic spectrum okay so that is radiometry and photometry now let us discuss some more concepts related to it so here when it comes to you know the study of light another important aspect is the human visual system so we know that the human eye it is uh, you know more sensitive to the visible range which is from 380 to 770 or 400 to 750 anyway so we uh, actually are uh, you know uh, a little bit biased inherently biased when it comes to distinguishing different colors okay and uh, mainly we are uh, more sensitive towards three colors okay 
three colors, the three primary colors. If you remember in television engineering also we discussed. So, the three primary colors are red, green and blue. Okay. The human eye is more sensitive towards these three colors and it is through these three colors in different proportions, different combinations, we can generate all the other secondary colors. So, always remember when it comes to image processing, television engineering, photometry, whatever, the three primary colors which are very important are red, green and blue when it comes to color perception. And uh, here the part of the human eye which is responsible for uh, the you know the judging of colors or the perception of colors that is the retina okay the retina of the human eye and also in the retina there are two components okay there are two components that is rods and cones these two are responsible for you know for the human eye to you know, uh, segregate different colors. It is very difficult, but still. So, here the two parts of the retina, that is rods and cones, which are responsible for color perception. Here, the rods, they are only responsible for black and white color perception, only black and white, which is basically related to you know, judging the luminance levels of different colors, okay, that. So, we will discuss about luminance and all the other photometric and radiometric quantities. So, rods are only responsible for judging the luminance levels, that is black and white perception, that is rods. Cones are responsible for judging different colors, okay. Basically, the three primary colors, red, green and blue, and through their different combinations, different other colors are generated such as magenta, cyan, uh, yellow and all of that. So, this gives rise to two vision, scotopic and photopic. Scotopic vision, it uses rods that is responsible for black and white perception. It sees everything in black and white, okay. No, you know, nothing in between, okay. Scotopic vision it uses rods that is responsible for black and white perception whereas photopic vision it uses cones okay photopic vision it uses cones and that provides us a sensation of different colors and mainly the three primary colors red green and blue and here uh, there are uh, specific uh, you know wavelength at which this uh, sensitivity peaks okay which is expressed by this curve so here as you can see the three primary colors red green and blue so cone cells they are basically of three type okay the cone cells they are basically of three types short wavelength long wavelength and mid wavelength so, here the short wavelength cone is responsible for you know sensing blue color and it peaks at 437 nanometer. Okay, at 437 nanometer, the sensitivity towards blue color by the short wavelength cone peaks. Okay, so this is for blue, the short wavelength cone, then the mid wavelength cone that is responsible for sensing green color and that peaks at the wavelength of 533 nanometer. So, this is for green, the mid wavelength cone, okay, green. This is blue, green and the long wavelength cone L that is responsible for sensing red color and it happens, it peaks, okay, maximum intensity or maximum sensitivity it is at 564 nanometer okay the maximum sensitivity for red color is achieved by the long wavelength cone and that is at the wavelength of 564 nanometer so as i said human eye is mainly biased towards 
three colors okay red green and blue cone cells are responsible for that there are three different types of cone cells for the sensing of these three primary colors short wavelength cone for blue color maximum sensitivity at 437 nanometer medium or mid wavelength cone for green color maximum sensitivity at 533 nanometer long wavelength cone for red color maximum sensitivity at the wavelength of 564 nanometer this is photopic vision scotopic vision is only achieved by rods which helps us to give us only black and white sensation of colors different luminance levels only black and white at the two extremes and different shades of gray in between whereas cone cells they give us a sensation of colors the three primary colors red red green and blue with different combinations with different wavelengths in between it creates the all the other secondary colors but the three main colors are red green and blue so this is uh, uh, the study of light with respect to the human visual system that is eye where the part here we are focused on is retina which consists of cone cells and rod cells which give us uh, the combination uh, or the sensation of different colors black and white or red green and blue and there is another vision which is mesopic vision which is the combination of both photopic and scotopic vision which is particularly used for most scenarios okay so now when it comes to uh, photometry and radiometry we'll be discussing some important parameters quantities uh, in uh, both photometry and uh, radio uh, metry so for photometry the important parameters are luminance illuminance luminous flux luminous intensity for radiometry it is radiance irradiance radiant flux and radiant intensity so we'll be discussing each of these uh, parameters in detail in separate videos so here in this video it was just a basic introduction to the study of light categorized into two parts radiometry and photometry radiometry the overall electromagnetic spectrum any frequency or wavelength range photometry only concerned with the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum okay so in the upcoming videos we'll be focusing on uh, specifically on photometric quantities and radiometric quantity so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day Thank you very much.